Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video I want to show you how you can install and configure agentless VPN uh, for your remote user in case you have um, maybe contractors or you don't want a situation where users will be installing clients on their machine to connect <clears throat> you can leverage on uh, FortiGate uh, agentless VPN portal uh, to uh, give access to your uh, remote, um, you know, workers to internal applications securely. Uh, from forty gates, uh, forty OS seven point six point zero, I support uh, agentless uh, VPN portal, and it's very uh, seamless to uh, deploy and configure. So I'll show you how you're going to do it here. So what we need for this session is in such a way you are going to configure it in such a way that each user in 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 the in the group that you've you know put them into we have access to uh you know various services portal they can be able to you know quickly you know uh, launch and have access to those uh you know internal uh applications so they will have a page where all those services are listed and they can be able to easily you know launch those applications seamlessly so what are, what we need here is just having FortiGate and those services behind FortiGate, regardless of where those services are, whether they're in your uh, data center or they're in the uh, cloud, uh, agentless VPN portal works for that. So, yeah, we need an FQDN, uh, an IP address, public IP address that will listen for the request for the VPN users, and we have to you know customize the port as well for them. Then this SMR IP address, uh, will, this FQD, FQDN will resolve to the SMR IP address and you know, will be like an agentless portal for all our users. And we'll have to, you know, have uh, assigned different groups to different users and also based on the uh, what we want them to have access to, we can configure each user group to have access to those services. So yeah, we'll be working with uh, some of the services we have, and you can also ensure they have access to just uh, the applications, not also, not just the uh, node. So we can provision FortiGate on only SSH for, you know, for your network team or uh, just HTTPS, uh, you know, page for them. Then uh, if you have some security teams that need access to RDP sessions and all that, they can be able to do that. So let's dive in uh, quickly. And set it up. So log in to FortiGate. So when you log in to FortiGate, um, firstly, you need to um, ensure you check whether the FortiGate VPN agentless portal uh, is um available if it's not available you need to you know check it here by you know uh toggling the uh enabling it so that uh, it can be appear to be configured on your page so you enable agentless vpn if this thing shows gray just use the uh just use the config uh global config system global uh, set SSL VPN C enable. So once you enable it, um, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to uh, toggle this on. Check this on. Check this on, which is agentless uh, VPN uh, personal bookmark. Check agentless VPN RAM. Once that is done, apply. So you go straight to VPN. On VPN, you um, see the settings that has been. You know, uh, highlighted, and they can you can now be able to configure it. So the first thing is going to agentless VPN settings. Under here, you want to enable it. So once it will be disabled. So once it's disabled, just enable it. As soon as you enable it, you can now listen on any of this interface. So, for instance, you want to listen on the external interface, external uh, interface, which is the public uh, interfacing interface for your user. So here I'll be using um this which is my internet uh you know one uh, leg for the for listening to it. You can customize the port uh to a very unique port 
so that uh, you know it can not easily be you know assessed by outsiders apart from people you are giving it to. Then server certificate, you need a server certificate. If you have a customized one to your organization, you can um, just upload it and you know install it. But I'll be using the default certificate here. Then um, I want to redirect it to a genless uh, VPN. Uh, you can also do that if your users are using HTTP and they forget to you know inside the HTTPS before writing the uh, portal URL, uh, typing the portal URL. So you can also restrict access to limited hosts or limit to specific hosts if you don't want um, everybody, if you are expecting, you know, uh, the, uh, if you're expecting traffic for specific IP addresses, you know, if you've been able to do that, you can, you know, just enable this, but I will allow access from any host for now and um, every other thing. So here yeah, you need to create authentication portal mapping. Yeah, you can. <clears throat> So here you need to create authentication uh, portal mapping for the group. So like I mentioned, we are creating uh, two groups of users. You can create groups based on the uh, in integration of your LDAP server uh, so that um, your LDAP, uh, you can use LDAP server for authenticating your users. So based on this, I need to create two groups and, uh, and to be able to ensure that each of those groups have their own portal that they will have landing on. So now let's create one group. The first group we'll create is is the um, user group, which is network team. So add group from LDAP. If you don't know how to integrate LDAP, you can watch one of my videos. So from here, search for network team. So here we add right click and add selected, click OK, then OK, add this. And here we can, the portal, we need to map a portal to this group. You can decide to give full access. Giving full access means that um, the user can decide to use uh, VPN clients when they access the, uh, the portal. They can have access to download the VPN client and um and use the VPN client instead of the web uh portal only. So I, I I actually want to do that to give them full access. Tunnel access only means they won't have access to the web and there's no need for the agentless VPN. Web access means uh solely uh web access for accessing all the uh applications without the use of uh the um VPN tunnel. So I give him uh, full access and um, I, I use uh, default RAM, click OK. And also, let me also map another user, another group rather. Let's create another group. So let's say IT security team, then add. Select your server, then click select IT security team, right click and add selected, click OK, click OK. Then IT security team as well, I want to give them that full access, but you can decide to give them web access without having, because the essence of agentless um, portal or agentless uh, VPN is the ability to only use the web access when your users don't have access to quickly download the VPN or so, but I want to also give them the ability or the to, to, to download the uh, VPN. So I'll give him uh, full access as well. So in network team, we have a uh, user, one user, which is Bowali. In the IT team, we have David, and they should have access to different services uh, based on their profile. So now click save. Now we've saved this. Now, our users can now listen on this particular um, URL, uh, which has been mapped uh, to an FQDN that um, I shared earlier. So the next thing you want to do, uh, let's check uh, this RAM. So 
The next thing you want to do is to go straight to um, go straight to policy and object firewall policy. So under firewall policy, I'll create uh, let's create a uh, firewall policy for the first uh, group, which is network team. Then uh, incoming interface will be uh, agent. Then uh, agent has between uh, interface. Our going will be uh, to the interface at which the uh, services and application belongs to. Source will be all. And group will be uh, network team for now that Boali belongs to. And uh, destination will be uh, for now, the application that which is FortiGate, uh, FortiGate, which is this FortiGate, then services, let's leave it as all for now. Then um, we leave every other thing the way they are made to be uh, as default. Then all sessions, you can apply security for profiles um, to this if um, you feel the need to. Then I click OK. So for the second one, which is the IT team, let's create a new IP, which is um, IT uh, security team. Then incoming interface will be the agentless uh, VPN interface. Outgoing would be uh, portal. Then source will be all. Destination group will be IT team, IT security team. Then destination will be uh, the services, which is uh, one is LDAP, uh, which is the server. Uh, and the second one is the fourth point EMS that we want them to also have access to. Then services, let's leave it as all for now. Then um can also apply security profiles based on your requirements, allow all sessions and click OK. So we have the two teams having access to different uh you know uh, services and applied from the firewall policies. So the next thing we want to do is to test um so So let's test this. So log into So now uh let's use our URL to log into the portal. So now we've logged in using the first user. So, so we have this bookmark uh, for the user. Let's see what the user have access to. Um, HTTPS. So the user have access to uh, Boali, which is from the network team, have access to the FortiGate device, can log into his, can do his uh, major work. We're on HTTPS, which is this. Uh, don't forget, it's be because we have the full access portal, you know, bookmarked for those two users. You can you can have different uh, portals, you know, um, access portals for different groups, so that each member of the group will not see the full services. So I have this. So I have access to this on. Um, on HTTPS, let's do on SSH. So user also have access to uh, this on SSH. So don't forget that um, the user is only meant to have access to only for to get um, HTTPS and SSH, which is uh, the network from the network group. So let's try this. So you can see there is a block access denied. 
because the user does not have access to it. But if you want to remove it, you can definitely, uh, you know, create different portal for different crew, uh, not necessarily giving them naming it, naming it full access. So there's no access for Boani um, for the other two because the, it doesn't give him access to that. So let's log out and let's log in using the uh, the David from the security team. So David. So David is meant to only have access to first client EMS and um and the Windows AD. So if you look at this, let's see if, if David has access to uh FortiGate HTTPS. So there's a block, uh, there's an error, access denied for David. Then Fort Client EMS, let's see. So David has access to the services he means to work with. Then the Win AD. So we can see David have access to the Win AD as well. So with this, you can be able to granularly uh, you know, give access to your remote users based on uh, you know, least privilege for them. So you have a agentless VPN portal that you know provides a quick way for your remote users to launch their um their uh to launch their services and application remotely and you know conveniently. So if you look at this, you can also the user without the bookmark, the user can also launch it. Yes. So uh 10.15.18.160. So let's click on launch. So see, still the same thing, just that the bookmark and, and give a graphical illustration of what the user should have access to, you know, uh, very timely. So thank you for watching. If this actually helped you, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends. Take care.